Okay, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul, and I am pleased to be connecting with you today. Thursday morning, 9 a.m. Hawaii time. It is the 28th day of June. We are rapidly wrapping up the month of June. And today, we will be talking about Shaw's Golden Healing Ball and how to use it to offer healing to yourself and to others. So it is a glorious day, a day in which we will receive yet another healing tool brought to humanity to serve with an unconditional healing instrument. I suspect that some of you may know about this, but there will definitely be others that are unfamiliar with Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, and I am confident that it will assist uh, you in, a, in uh, transforming some of your uh, blockages, pain, and suffering. As with all of the wisdom that Master Shaw brings, it works really good if we apply it. Not so good if we don't apply it. So I think it probably depends mostly on, um, uh, you know, practice, as always. Practice, practice, practice. So grateful for all those that are tuning in. Uh, we're going to wait a little while longer before I go into the teachings uh, as more people join. And so today is near the end of the month. It's the 28th of June and as we move into July at least here in America we have some holidays coming up it's gonna be a busy weekend for me I'll be moving from one apartment in the same complex to a different apartment in uh, the same complex and it's a bit of an upgrade so that's a big plus whenever something happens the best response is always thank you so even if uh, even if it's a downgrade you say thank you master Shaw wisdom Let's see who's joined us so far. So welcome Dean Forbes, Aloha Monica, welcome also Sabine, and Aloha and welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome also to Phyllis Casper and Lisa Carter, Aloha Julie Trimby, and welcome also Janice Crosby Smith, Aloha and welcome Jess Christensen and Roshan Dell. Thank you all for coming. Welcome Jen Christie, also welcome to um, Kathy Arnold and Lucia. Gorhaus. Welcome Lisa Zarniak. Welcome Tanuja Patel and Christopher Ronan. Aloha. Thank you all for joining. Welcome Rena Singh and Christina Vakol. Welcome Catherine O'Shea. Aloha to Christine Young and welcome also Yolanda and welcome to uh, Yvonne Jacobson. Welcome Regina Volk. Aloha and welcome to uh, Dee Dee Ettinger. Welcome Margaret Green. Delma Montez. Aloha and welcome. I think I've acknowledged everybody. If I have not, forgive me. And a shout out to Catherine O'Shea. She's joined us here today. If anybody has animals and they're in need of animal communicator, she's pretty impressive. Uh, and she does a lot of her work, you know, over the phone or over Skype. So make sure you connect with her on a private a message if that's of interest to you. <clears throat> okay, so thank you everybody for joining and thank you also for clicking on the share button. Today we're going to be talking about Shah's Golden Healing Ball and how you can use it to heal yourself and others. Uh, prior to that, we're going to set the energy field. I'm going to call forth the beings of light and prepare for the blessings that will be coming today. <clears throat> so let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position which is a hand mudra position. It's just like a prayer position. And we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. You close your eyes and I will call in all beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao source, all committees in heaven, dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, Dear the soul of all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. Beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin, and more. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and invite your presence at this time in whatever way is most appropriate. Dear the soul of Shah's golden healing ball. In heaven, we love you, we honor you, we deeply appreciate your unconditional service. 
we invite your presence as well. <clears throat> Dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony, source, soul song, we love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please turn on in each one of us? And we invite all souls and all universes to turn on this source, soul song, and to chant with us. So for those that are new or watching for the first time, maybe on a recording, uh, we will chant sh a short mantra called Love, Peace, and Harmony. It gathers hearts and souls. It helps clear blockages. It is a healing instrument. And you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. Let us chant together to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lu, la, li, lu, la. Lula, li, lu, la. Lula, li, lu, la. Wo, I, wo, shin, erling. Wo, I, tran, ran, lay. Rang, ling, rung. Har mu shir shang, shang ai ping an a xie, shang ai ping an a xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those who have joined chanting and this service. So welcome also to... Um, Gutraj Bajal, welcome Shelly, and welcome Ann Lee, welcome also to Merit, and welcome Aradana. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for clicking the share button and let other people know about today's live stream. Make sure nothing relevant is occurring here. Good. And so today we're going to be focusing on Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Some of you may have heard of it. Some of you may have not heard of it. Um, one of the unique things about Master Shah, who is the individual pictured here, uh, along with Master Ulin, um, Master Shah is a unconditional universal servant. And the definition of that is very simple. Unconditional, no conditions, servant to all souls in all universes. An unconditional universal servant. So unconditional means he puts everyone else before himself. Now, you have to actually be in his presence to witness that, but it's quite a remarkable thing to witness. And he has been this way <clears throat> uh, from early childhood. He grew up with very beautiful, loving parents that taught him well. He trained under um, Qigong, Tai Chi, Feng Shui masters, I Ching masters, and... Um, other masters who hide in the mountains whose names have not been revealed that teach him very high levels of humility, very high levels of service. And along the way, uh, since the age of five, he has been communicating with the beings of light, including Quan Yin. Um, there is a mantra uh, known in the, for those who, who have followed this deity called Quan Yin, um, deity meaning being of light, and uh, it is called the Dabe Jo. And it is known in the East, but it is, it's um, 88 lines. And they're not a Chinese lines. They're not, um, in his native language, it's Chinese. So they're not Chinese. They're literally just words. And they, they mean a person's name uh, or, or honoring of different Buddhas. But they're not um, a regular language, so to speak. And there's phrases, and there's 88 of them. And at the age of five and age of six, um, Zhigong Sha, not a master at that time, is literally walking around his house chanting these 88 phrases. Now, how does a, a child learn 88 phrases that are not of his native language? Well, simple answer. He is being taught by Kuan Yin Buddha. 
So he has been seeing and communicating with beings of light forever. And as he progressed through his layers of service, layers of enlightenment, layers of awakening, uh, and learned his purpose for being brought to earth and born onto earth and to serve humanity, <clears throat> um, he has been recognized by our beloved divine creator. And so uh, one of the highest recognitions occurred in uh, uh, early in December 7, 1995. So this is the book that was created called Shaw's Golden Healing Ball. Uh, and it is one of Master Shaw's earliest books. And he goes on to explain how this ball and this book came into formation and how it can serve you. <clears throat> so I want to pause for a moment and welcome also to Manasuk Singh. Welcome also to Christine Young. Welcome Hannah Moise. Welcome Petra Marie Lennon. Welcome also to Esther uh, Hutsinen and Savitri Daman Singh. If I don't wet my whistle once in a while, I'll be coughing a little bit too much. <clears throat> so I will read from this book so you can understand the nature and how this book was received. Welcome, Bob Reed. So on the morning of December 7, 1995, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, I received a message from the Divine as I was meditating. Now this is, by the way, relatively normal. You can, every one of us can receive a message from the Divine. The difference is that Master Shah has been receiving messages from beings of light since the age of five. So his messages are very clear and they come with pictures. <clears throat> and the Divine said to him, I have created a spiritual gift, a golden healing ball, to serve the universe in the 21st century. I give this gift to you first. He's speaking to Master Shah, he, she, the divine. But it is not for you alone. It is my gift to all. So this is the divine's heart. Give a gift to humanity. And then the divine says to Master Shah, because of your commitment to serving people through your healing work, I have entrusted this gift to you. And I have named it Shah's Golden Healing Ball. And you can imagine, you know, Master Shah, being, being a very humble person, was not too thrilled about it being named after him. Divine goes on to say, I chose you, Jigong Shah, to share this gift with people everywhere. Tell the world that a healing ball exists in heaven and belongs, uh, excuse me, in the heavens and the spiritual world. Tell people everywhere that it belongs to everyone who believes in it. Who has faith, who has trust, and who is willing to use it. Healing will come to those who use this ball. Healing will come to those who call upon this ball. Welcome Tony Tay, welcome Carl Strainer, uh, welcome Bob Reed, and welcome Janine. Spread the message, the divine goes on to say, spread the message of Shaw's golden healing ball to people everywhere. Extremely humbled and honored, Master Shah writes in his book, I bowed down 108 times before the divine and the soul world, affirming my appreciation and acceptance of this great gift bestowed to him. With honor and pleasure do I accept this mission and hereby vow to bring Shah's golden healing ball to the world. Thank you for making me the messenger of this great gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that was the conversation that occurred between the Divine and Master Shah. So, and then he says, reflecting on the gift, as I took leave of my most beloved Master Guo, his spiritual father, in 1993, he gave him a message. He called out his name and wrote out in Chinese for the world, for the word, ball. This is a message that Master uh, Shah's spiritual father in China gave him. His name is Master Guo. And he wrote out the word ball in Mandarin Chinese. And then he shook his hand and congratulated him. That was all. At the time, he explains, he did not understand the meaning of the significance of the message. His interpretation was that the ball symbolized the earth. That's what he was thinking. He couldn't quite figure out why his teacher just said the word ball. Two years later, <clears throat> when heaven entrusted him with Shaw's golden healing ball, he finally understood his master's message. 
Suddenly he realized all healing can be from a ball, Shaw's golden healing ball. Looking back, he realizes there was no coincidence that his master gave him this message. The golden healing ball, or Shaw's golden healing ball, is no ordinary light. It is a light that receives its frequency and vibration from the divine, the Tao, and the source, from universal light, radiating its love, compassion, and its power, carrying the message of the divine and the higher saints. So the world is indeed fortunate. So that's the, the basic story. Now, he wrote a book shortly thereafter and published it to do as the divine asked him to do, which is to tell the whole world about it. It's been a very popular book and a very popular gift, by the way. <clears throat> you do not need to own the book to receive Shaw's Golden Healing Ball because he tells you right in the book where it resides. Do you remember where it resides? It resides in heaven, in the spiritual world. And all that is asked is to trust, to call it forth, and to chant and ask it to serve. That's all that is asked, okay? <clears throat> the one thing that runs through all of the wisdom and teachings that Master Shah has brought to humanity is that he has brought wisdom and tools to transform us faster. When we try to resolve things with our mind, when we try to resolve things with third dimension uh, um, machinery or tools or medicines or things like that, they work, but they only work so far. And the reason is very simple. The cause of all suffering in life, the cause of all of our blockages, has its root in our mistakes. What we do unto others eventually comes back to us. So some people call it karma. It doesn't matter the verbiage. What matters is a recognition that if we're suffering, there is an originating source. So if we try to uh, deal with, let's say, a cancer, which is a suffering, with a machine and with a medicine, it will have some effect, no, no question about it. But the root cause of that cancer is a karma kind of incidence where we or our ancestors have caused harm upon others. So when we address these blockages with a higher, um, a higher energy, a more positive energy, such as Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, which carries forth the energy of the divine frequency, and we apply a higher frequency to a lower frequency, naturally our lower frequency of uh, causing for, in this example, a cancer or a headache or a long-standing financial issue. These are lower frequencies. These are karma issues. So we want to apply a higher frequency of love, compassion, and light, which is what is infused in Shaw's golden healing ball. So all that is asked of us is to recognize the basic foundation of a higher frequency impacting a lower frequency that's causing our suffering and then chant or work with that frequency long enough to cause an effect how long have you had financial suffering how long have you had a a long-standing pain or a suffering in your life relationship issue the beautiful thing about working with the tools and the wisdoms that master shah has brought to us <clears throat> is that they work regardless the only thing that might cause you to think they do not work is your perception in this fast food world that everything has to happen overnight you need an instant fix if you've had financial problems for 10 years you might want to chant shaw's golden healing ball more than once for 10 minutes if you've had cancer for a year or two and it sort of worked but sort of didn't whatever you are applying towards it you might want to apply this more than five or ten minutes in other words be smart apply the tools and the wisdoms that he brings on a consistent basis. Master Shah states that if you have a chronic condition to chant for two hours or more every day, what do you chant, you ask? Well, he has provided many tools, but Shah's Golden Healing Ball is one of those tools that is very easy to grasp, easy to remember, easy to apply and you can do it anywhere in the world that you are at any time. You can be on a train and you can close your eyes and invite Shaw's Golden Healing Ball to come to you. You can be driving with a friend in the passenger seat and you can ask Shaw's Golden Healing Ball to come to serve you. You can be washing dishes. You can be driving to work. It can serve you anytime you put attention on it. This is how you do two hours a day in our busy life. 
<clears throat> if you do that and you have any kind of suffering in your life, it is highly unlikely that it will not bring benefits. Now, the second thing to do is remember gratitude. Gratitude is hugely important. Before you, uh, you bring and invite Shah's Golden Healing Ball, you offer gratitude. During your chanting, you offer gratitude. At the completion of your chanting, you offer gratitude. You offer it to the Divine Tao Source. You offer it to Shah's Golden Healing Ball. And even offer it to Master Shah, who, who this is named after, and who was, this was delivered to humanity because of his unconditional service. Offer your gratitude. Very important. When heaven sees your heart of gratitude, they give you more blessings. Kind of a no-brainer when you think about it. The third thing, make sure you ask for and offer forgiveness. We're going to do all this in just a few minutes here. So three things, and you should do it in this order. First, offer and ask for forgiveness. Second, be grateful. Third, call forth Shah's Golden Healing Ball and do the practice. The forgiveness is very, very important. Why? Why do we do forgiveness? And why is it important to do a true and depthful forgiveness? Very simple teachings. When you open your heart to heaven, you recognize that your suffering is not accidental. Financial suffering, relationship suffering, pain suffering, cancer suffering, doesn't matter. Whatever suffering is, there are no accidents in this universe. Everything has a source. Everything has cause and effect. That's universal law so when you recognize that universal law is working and it's uh, bringing you a form of suffering then it is important to recognize the need for forgiveness so you acknowledge that you say dear all souls that have brought this suffering of whatever it is to me as a reminder of what I may or my ancestors may have caused upon you in some other lifetime I'm a good person I would never cause this suffering upon anybody, but the suffering has come to me. So I recognize that it is possible I or my ancestors may have caused this suffering upon others in different lifetimes. And I wish to sincerely, sincerely apologize. This is an example of a heartfelt acknowledgement of the source of the suffering and an asking for forgiveness. You must also remember to offer forgiveness very important offer forgiveness to all those that have dumped on you all those that have uh, caused you financial problems all those that may have delivered the car accident that caused you to be debilitated whatever the source if you blame someone you must 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 offer forgiveness two simple reasons why if you do not forgive then you may be the one delivering the reminder to them in the future. Do you really want to cause suffering to others? Do you think they're going to remember they caused suffering to you and now you're reminding them? Do you really want to be the one bearing pain upon others because they bear pain upon you? Stop the rat wheel of life. Be the one that rises above it all. Offer unconditional forgiveness like beloved Jesus has done, like beloved Krishna and Buddha does. These great beings of light give us this wisdom. We must apply it. Offer forgiveness to all unconditionally. Okay? Regardless of what they did, let go of the attachment that you're right, they're wrong, blah, blah, blah. Serves nobody and keeps you in the rat wheel of life. Does not allow you to move forward and release the pain, release the suffering. So very simply put, and we're going to do a practice now. Shah's Golden Healing Ball is an instrument of the divine and all that is asked of you is to trust that it is there in heaven asking and waiting for you to ask for its service it is an unconditional universal servant that has no agenda other than to serve you and all that is asked of you is three steps ask for and offer forgiveness be grateful and then when you call Shah's Golden Healing Ball, do the practice long enough to create results. Do not do it for 10 minutes and be disappointed because you think it should have created a result when you are not comprehensive enough of the karmic condition or um, series of mistakes that were made in the past that has brought that suffering to you. 
you might think that you don't know why that suffering is there. It could be significant. Therefore, you must apply practice consistently. Okay, let us do this together. So Master Shah teaches four simple powers, body power, sound power, mind power, and soul power. Body power is where we place our hands. So let's do soul light hand position, which is like a prayer position with the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains connected to heaven, bringing heaven into our heart center. <clears throat> this is body power. Sound power, we will chant Shah's golden healing ball. Mind power, we will visualize a golden healing ball coming from the heavenly realms, coming to us. Now, if it's a specific body part or something that you're asking for, welcome, Daniela. Great to see you here. Welcome, Carrie Decker. Welcome, Samantha. If it's a specific body part that uh, you're wanting blessings for, then ask Shah's Golden Healing Ball to come to that area. If it's um, a major emotional problem or mental mindset problem, ask Shah's Golden Healing Ball to come to your heart center. If it's a financial blockage, same thing. Uh, whole body, great. And, and, and envision your whole body being encapsulated by Shah's Golden Healing Ball. See it spinning. This is your creative visualization mind power. Okay? Soul power, we're all going to do together. So let's place our hands in soul light. Soul service hand position. Close your eyes and let us connect. I will do this invocation, but pay attention to it because you can do it yourself. So let us invite in all the beings of light. And we'll start with Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please come from heaven? Come to me. Serve my suffering. Please help me clear blockages as appropriate for the condition of, and then you state your condition. I am extremely grateful. Thank you. Now we invite all the souls. Dear God, Tao, Source, dear all the beings of light, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, angels, healing angels, archangels, Beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Krishna, all the beings of light, I love you all. Bow my head in gratitude to all of you. I invite you most humbly, most sincerely, if you would please come to bless my request. Help me to cure my blockages for, and then state your request again. I am extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you. And notice that included great gratitude. Let us do forgiveness. Dear all souls in humanity, all souls in all time, on behalf of myself and my ancestors, if I have ever brought harm or suffering by thought or word or action to any souls anywhere in time, especially for the conditions of suffering that I am requesting today, then I most humbly and sincerely apologize. There is no excuse for bringing this kind of suffering upon anyone. And I honestly do not remember bringing this kind of suffering upon anyone. But I recognize it is possible that I have because I am now suffering. And I ask most humbly and sincerely for your forgiveness if I have ever harmed you in any way. I also offer my unconditional forgiveness to all of the souls that have brought harm or suffering to me, especially for this condition that I am suffering. I recognize that you may have brought this suffering to me to remind me of suffering I may have brought to you or that my ancestors may have brought to you. Regardless, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. Let us all move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we will now chant Shah's Golden Healing Ball, and we will visualize this Golden Healing Ball. We're going to call it, and um, we're going to see it coming from heaven into our bodies, and we are going to chant, watch it spin, watch it serve and clear blockages. Let us begin. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball, 
Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Chant with your heart. Remember, this is a healing ball that came from the heart of the divine. It is extraordinary in its power. Connect to its love. Connect to its light. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 See the ball spinning. Clearing blockages. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Look inside your body. If there is any darkness in this area of suffering, doesn't matter if it's finances, emotions, or a physical suffering, see the ball washing away, replacing it with golden light. All of the beings of light are present. All their palms facing you. All their light, love, and blessings coming from their palms into your area of request. Shah's golden healing bow. Shah's golden healing bow. Shah's golden healing bow. Shah's golden healing bow. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Those with third eye, pay attention. I will ask you to report. Shah's golden he silently, silently chant. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Now I will teach you a more advanced way. We are going to ask Shah's golden healing ball to serve others that have the same suffering we have. So repeat after me. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, I love you. I am extremely honored for your unconditional service. Can you please come from the heart of heaven, subdivide, and go to all the souls of humanity that have the same suffering that I have requested? And watch. Billions of Shah's Golden Healing Balls have subdivided, going to billions of people. 
many people have financial suffering many people have relationship suffering many people have pain and heaven's heart is unconditional heaven will do whatever is appropriate if it is not appropriate heaven does not do it when we request from a heart of service heaven responds we will now chant to serve others let us begin see all the other souls being blessed now because of your request shah's golden healing bowl 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 Shah's golden healing bow, 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 Shah's golden healing bow. Shah's golden healing bow, Shah's golden healing bow, Shah's golden healing bow, Shah's golden healing bow. Silently chant, visualizing so many souls who have been suffering. Their suffering is gently being uplifted. Their finances are being blessed. Their pain is gently being released. Their relationships are being healed. According to the divine's service shah's golden healing bow 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 Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Last minute, with all your heart, serve all these other beautiful souls. Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Shah's golden healing bowl, Shah's golden healing bowl, Shah's golden healing bowl. And now we bow our head nine times to the divine and we say, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we bow our head nine times to Shah's golden healing bowl and we say, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bowing our head is a form of gratitude. And it is very important to honor the service that is being offered unconditionally by these unconditional servants. So everybody check in with how they are doing, what they requested. Are they feeling more relaxed? Do they feel any vibration, any frequencies in the area of request? If you, if you uh, had pain, is it diminished, etc.? And while you type in your responses, I am going to share some additional wisdom with you. When I said, let's chant for others, how many of you had a thought, even if it was momentarily, but what about me? I need to chant for myself. I'm in pain. What about me? I, I know I have cancer. What about me? I have financial blockages. Even if for a moment that crossed your mind, I encourage you to recognize a deeper wisdom. This is a form, and I do this a lot, food, you know, I'm not, I'm, trust me, no better than anybody here. Um, 
it is important to recognize these aspects of selfishness. The highest wisdom ever brought to humanity is selflessness. Those that are above, those that are the beings of light that we call upon, our Jesuses, our Krishnas, our Mother Marys, all of these beings of light got there through selflessness. The highest form of healing that you can receive, of transformation in your life that you can receive, is when you chant to serve others. And it is also one of the hardest things to get into our head. I have known this how many years? At least 10 years. And yet, how often do I apply it? Not often enough. And so, why is it so difficult to absorb that? Why is it so difficult to do it unconditionally? Not even thinking of self. Karma. Karma. Very simple. It keeps us in a selfish pattern. So remember this wisdom. If you have suffering, if you wish to make a difference, make a difference by asking Shah's Golden Healing Ball as appropriate to serve others. Ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to please turn on and serve others. These tools are heaven tools. We simply ask them to serve as appropriate for the condition that we have but serving others. They get the benefit. Why then do we get benefited? Because heaven sees our heart of service. Those souls are very grateful. They also bless you with their virtue. That virtue offsets your spiritual debts, thereby wiping away aspects of your suffering. So it's simple math, but it's also the law of the universe. Unconditional service brings unlimited benefits. So let's read some responses. And welcome to all those that came in in the last 10 minutes. Julia, Crystal, Shai Shai, uh, Linda, Susan, Mariana, Shelly, Cumberland, uh, Linda, Susan Brown, Peggy Blake, Nina, Danta. Welcome, everybody. If I missed your name, forgive me. Um, Phyllis says she's in tears. Energy pain went down from a 7 to a 5. Remember the teachings earlier, uh, Phyllis. You've had long-standing pain. Do a lot of practice. Serve others. Sabine. Thank you, Master Paul. She feels more refreshed in her heart area and have the feeling that she can breathe better into her lungs. Yeah, don't thank me. Thank heaven. Thank Master Shah. Thank Shah's Golden Healing Ball, all the beings of light. I'm just a messenger. Um, Samantha says calm. Shelley says headache happened when trying to open her third eye, but saw and felt tons of golden light. Yeah, actually not an uncommon experience when you're trying to boost this area. And for you, Shelley, you should know better. Don't try to open the third eye. Boost your kundalini. Okay? You try to open this, you don't have enough power in the right areas. Go back to the teachings. You still have access to them. I'm talking about my 12-week Open Spiritual Channels program. Janice says, uh, encircled by endless beings of the light side holding hands. A third eye image. Uh, and the hands were towards her. Hands lifting upwards and chanting for others. Beautiful. Beautiful third eye image. Sabine says, I saw the golden light ball flying around Mother Earth uh, to the persons and the animals which had been connected to her issue and left them lighter. So uh, not so heavy anymore. Beautiful. Great observation, Sabine. Great third eye images. And then Phyllis says, easy to chant for others. Good. Chant for others if it's easy. And a flash came in on money. Wonderful. Kathy Arnold, her thought was that it was more joyous and easier to chant for all humanity and so beautiful. Isn't that interesting? Why is it easier to chant for others sometimes than for ourselves? Maybe because heaven's trying to teach you that message. Um, and Shelley saw the same thing. Good. Uh, Monica says she felt a deep sense of happiness and love after this. Saw the divine and Master Shah in a rainbow light. Beautiful. And she's so grateful chanting uh, for Mama. She has it, had a pain level of 10 and now the pain is gone. Congratulations, Mama. And Phyllis says she can't visualize much or hold her hands in position. Shoulder palms. That's okay. Keep your body. Whenever you do chanting, if, you, if, if the hand position that's suggested creates suffering, if you're asked to sit up straight and you can't because it causes pain, 
Don't do it. Be in a most comfortable position. Use your uh, mind power to assist you with resolving the issues. Okay. So thank you, everybody, for sharing your experiences and your third eye. You know, Master Shaw brings so many tools. Keep it simple. All my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Dear Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, please come. All the beings of light, please come. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Asking for an offering. Be grateful. And then chant to serve others. It's a very simple, easy, and reproducible uh, service that you can teach anyone. You can do it on your own. You can do it anywhere, anytime. And it's easy to get two hours a day. 15 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Just do it. And make an agreement with yourself to do it for you know three months straight, 90 days. No, no questions asked. You're just going to do it and see what the results are at the end. I promise you, if you're doing two hours a day for 90 days, your life will not be the same at the end, especially if you are chanting for others. Okay? Now, somewhere in the middle, you might, things might ramp up and get even more aggressive, but that's a very good sign. And that might only happen to 5 or 10% of you. But if that happens, it's a very good sign. That means that the darkness is being exposed to be moved out, kind of like a pimple is being exposed to be released. Okay? So I want to offer my gratitude to Divine Tao Source, Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service today. I offer my gratitude to all of you who have come. I invite you to uh, attend my ongoing personalized webinar. It's Tao Healing. It's a ongoing year-round program. Tao Healing for self-healing of soul, heart, mind, and body. You can learn more by going to my website. It's on the first page, asoulhealer.com. And uh, click on that. Register uh, three months' worth of direct teachings, question and answer teachings, direct access through me. Um, for only $100, it's the best price on the planet for what you get out of it. And it will move your soul journey forward tremendously. It will release a lot of your healing uh, problems faster. And for those that don't have the money, chant to serve others for that problem, and heaven will bring you the money. Okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. And thank you, Daniela, for your comments. Great to see you here. Bye-bye, everybody.